So my top tip for uh, success in the media industry is uh, a little patchwork of three things. The first is you must be distinctive. Uh, we are, each of us, one of many, many brands in a hugely competitive industry. So you, you've got to stand out. The second is related, and that is you've got to take risks uh, because, frankly, you'll never get anywhere without that. And that is partly what makes you distinctive. But there's a very, very important third one, and that is that you must also be authentic. So there's no point in being distinctive and trying to be somebody else and trying to stand out in a way which isn't really you. You've got to be authentic to who you are. So that's my tip for the top. Those three things, be distinctive, take risks, but be yourself. There are many um, candidates for my uh, most embarrassing moment. The one that springs to mind is when um, uh, I was working in an advertising agency and these, these two lovely people came over from Spain uh, and they represented a magazine called Hola which was hugely successful in Spain and which of course became Hello uh, in the UK and they pitched this to the agency. Uh, I was the media director of the agency and this large group of people sat around waiting for my learned point of view and I said it, it'll never work here uh, because their, their rationale was that they became friends with the celebrities um, so that they would go and buy all those embarrassing photos when they were walking out of uh, the ivy at two o'clock in the morning completely blind drunk and then they would just kind of quietly burn them. Um, and, and then whenever they would show them in their homes, it would be this marvellous kind of uh, fluffy picture. And I said, frankly, the British market is far more sophisticated than that. No one is going to buy all that fluffy stuff. We like the cynical thing, which really nails it to the celebrities. Um, uh, and so it'll, this will obviously fail, uh, which it didn't do. And in fact, it spawned the most lucrative generation of new magazines uh, in the media sector.